Hey guys, what's going on? So I finally received my NVIDIA GeForce Now Beta Pass. And uh, if you don't know what that is, I talked about it in my previous podcast. If you want to look it up, I talked about St Google Stadia and I talked about GeForce Now. Uh, if you want to go back and check out that video, uh, I left time markers in the description so you can just jump straight to the GeForce Now or the Google Stadia topic. So I talked about GeForce Now and that's what's allowing me to play Fortnite, League of Legends and all these popular title PC games on my MacBook Pro right now. This is a MacBook Pro 2011. I have a lot of videos on it if you want to check it out. Just check out my um, video channel. So what I want to do today is I'm going to show you how Fortnite plays on my MacBook Pro right now and I'm going to play it with my PS4 controller. And right here you'll see all I did was just connect it directly through USB. There's no drivers, nothing. Um, I have Mac OS High Sierra on this. Critical battery, please charge. Crap. All right, so I'll show you guys right here how it works. Uh, I'm gonna open up Fortnite right here. I, there's a lot of games on here, League of Legends. It has all these new games, you know? Um, PUBG has everything here. They have uh, sections where, look at this, new releases. And then they have free to play games. So let me open up this Fortnite one. I'm logged into the account. And see what it's doing now? It's gonna analyze my internet connection because you do need a decent speed to play this on. And I tried it, my old internet connection was 15 megabits per second and that's really slow. So I upgraded it. Um, I think I'm at like 100 megabits per second now. But they do recommend at least 30 megabits. I think if you're in the 30 to 50, you're fine. But it, it won't let allow me to play if it's uh, under 30. So you see this thing logs into their server and I'm playing it on their machine, their server. So I'm just streaming it. Uh, I don't need to install anything on my MacBook. Um, all the updates, everything is done by them. And say it goes into full screen mode and it's awesome. So even though I'm using my PS4 controller, you can also use a Xbox 360 controller. You just have to buy something on Amazon, which is a uh, USB Bluetooth device and you can hook this to uh, your Mac or PC or anything. But I'm on a PS4 right now, and you see, look, it controls it pretty well. So let me go into the battle mode. All right, so I'll just do a Team Rumble right now to show you guys gain some gameplay. And check this out, I can use the uh, mouse pad right here. So you can do keyboard and mouse if you want to as well. But it's pretty cool, it's pretty responsive. So look, it's, I'll show you guys the response time on this watch. Look at that. It's like it's instant. It's very fast. And I'll show you the settings on here right now. Look at that. It's on Epic on this. I can pretty much set it all to Epic, but I think it's on Auto how it's choosing right now. But watch, I'll just set it to far. I'll put everything on high. There you go. Because this machine should be able to handle it. It's their server I'm playing on. But yeah, I love this service. Uh, I hope they come out with it pretty soon. Uh, I think this is a game changer for a lot of things. I mean, I have a PS4 Pro right now that I just play on a lot. But if I didn't have that system, I'd probably sign up for the service, you know? Depends on how much they're gonna charge for it. Cause uh, this is just in beta right now. Uh, I will say one thing I did notice is that sometimes when I'm, I'm pressing the controller around like that, like it will spin on its own. Uh, I don't know if, it's like a little glitch right now or what. But I do notice that right now while I'm, if I set my sensitivity right here up to too high on the X and Y, on this part right here for the X and Y controller, I have it at 0.78, but I noticed that I set it up a little bit higher so I can go a little bit faster. And sometimes it, it wouldn't register it. Like it, it would just spin a little bit more than I would wish it would. And that that's about it. Other than that, it's like very, it's very good. Like if you're a pro player, you wouldn't, sign up for the service you know and if you're a pro player you're gonna have your own custom pc and stuff anyways this is for the average user average consumer and I, I think it's very good uh, if you don't want to buy a new pc you don't want to upgrade uh, you don't want to buy you know a, a game console system uh, i think it's definitely worth it because you can play any any of the new titles without upgrading your your system 
See that? See how it just spun out a little bit like that? So, I don't know if that's something they need to work on a little bit better. Let's see if I can get some kills for you guys. Hopefully I won't choke here. Alright, they're all over here. There we go. Look at this guy. <laughs> you even see me come right up behind him. Alright, who else here? Let me try this without my speaker on here. Maybe it'll sound better. Or at least that sounds a little bit better. Look at this guy. Headshot. Oh, check out my bow action here. I love this bow. Let's see if I can do this. Oh yeah. Oh boo yeah. I love this bow. It's insane. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this guy right here. He's about to blow it up. <laughs> What's he thinking? I'm gonna do the same here. Look at this guy. Can get it now? Oh yeah. Oh look at this guy. This guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Crossbow shotgun. That's what it's about. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, give me another one. Oh. Wow, look how close that game was. One kill away. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, look at this. I'm getting um, 120 FPS, but you know, average 60 frames per second. And here's some other titles I'm able to play. I'll go into League of Legends right now and show you how it looks like. I don't really know how to play this too well, but uh, I'll go into a match here and see. Uh, I'll, I'll do a training match here. That way I don't suck too much. I'm curious if I can play with my controller here. See if it works. Nope. Rest. Controller doesn't work. Slay enemy minions. So you see, look, it's very smooth, and the graphics is on very high right now. I'll show you the settings right here. See, so look, look at the video settings. It's on very high on everything. So this is insane, you know. And you know, this is streaming over the internet right now. So you do need a decent speed. And I have my thing connected through um, the Ethernet right now, the blue wire. But I also played on Wi-Fi and it was totally fine too, as long as you have a decent internet connection. So like I said, 30 megabits per second, if you have that at least. And most people have 30 megabits per second now. So yeah, I just want to show you guys what GeForce Now looks like. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys like this gameplay that I did on GeForce Now. This thing is in beta right now. It's not out yet. I don't know when it's going to be out. And I'm not sure how much they're going to charge when it comes out. But we do know that Google Stadia, they say they're planning on launching sometime near the end of this year. So I think they might come out around the same time as well to compete with them. But GeForce Now looks solid right now. I, I think they can just release this thing. It's, it's pretty awesome. But that's it for this video. Stay tuned right now. I'm going to show you some Fortnite gameplay using the X-Bow. I love this thing. And this gameplay is on my PS4. So enjoy. Peace.